I think camps are great. And I think the camps are outstanding. I think those are wonderful platforms for kids to go showcase their skills and talent. It has now grown a lot down here in South Florida. What we do during the summertime, take my kids on a big college trip. The, those camps at the, at the actual schools are good. Important for the kids to go to camp and compete. Building their brand, building their name with those rivals camps, with the Honor Armour camps. Kids put their name out there as an individual. I'm for that. I mean, those are times where kids can get exposure. I think it's great to go there, get that exposure. Man, I think it's beneficial to the kids. Lives can be changed when they go there. I think that they should be taken serious. I think that, you know, your approach to those camps should be taken as just serious as much as an uh, NFL prospect going to the combine. Is when you take these kids, it shows them something different. It shows them, hey man, you know, this is where I could really be. You know, it gives them kind of hope. Although it may be politics at times, this uh, favoritism of star favorite, and it's always been like that. And I think, it, again, it's just becoming more focused on a, you know, such a hand few of, of young men. But I think some, of the, some camps are good. I think Rivals is good. Some camps are not. It's really picking the right camp and the right time. It's beneficial to the kids. Kids can have that opportunity to do great. I'm with it. It keeps the kids involved. Football is year-round now. If he's, you know, you watch the film, he has the grades, he has to, you know, test scores and all those things. If you like the kid, go ahead and offer the kid. Uh, obviously, those summer camps, I think it's huge. I think it's a proving ground for us to go to. I'm for um, anybody that's trying to put on a camp that can better our kids. I'm fine with all of you. Me and my coaches, they, 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 they love that situation. But all those coaches who decide to get into high school football is not just fall. It's year round, 12 months pretty much. Anything that's going to put our kids on a different platform or a higher platform for them to um, be, get exposure, I'm for Get exposure, um, that's, that's good for them and good for his brand. I feel that if a kid had to pay to go to a camp, then why should they go? And the cost of the camps. So seeing the cost this summer, that was really going from city to city, state to state, it's financially um, suffocating. Those rival camps, we, we made those moves to hit just a couple different things to help them out. Get your team better, also it helps the kids. It keeps the kids active, working out, not in the streets. Going to those camps play a major role in me, including prospects as well. I think what UM did was, was, was good. So you just got to be prepared for it. I think it's also important to, you know, get, about, get guys evaluated and stuff like that. Even if it's not a team thing, I try to show my coaching staff and support the kids. And you gotta know which one gonna be a dog when they get out there and not that puppy and hide in the back. But at the end of the day, you gotta make sure you prepare for those situations because you can't go to those camps and fold. I just don't see what it used to be with the young, hot kid to get an opportunity. If some camps are beneficial for the student athletes, but some of them are just money grabbers. 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 dollars a day just to, just to do drills, not including travel, lodging, and food. And then to get there and not really be evaluated where they're only taking two or three college kids in that class, more or less thousands of kids at this particular camp. You got to be a dog to get to that front. When it, again, when that, that numbers, you got to be a dog to get to that front. You can't get this guy out of bed and like, hey, I'm going to go to this rivals camp or this Miami camp and think I'm, you know, going against a guy who's been working seven days a week. Trying to find a hidden gem and now we're just trying to over-report on what's already been uh, identified. We're looking at the kid that's already established and has everything. We just want to follow him in everyday life. You got to be active in the offseason. They can evaluate them. I know this kid is a recruit I want to look at. Now I get him to camp. Now I can really work with him. Sometimes I feel like the colleges kind of, you know, do that wavering stuff and, you know, not offer indicate.